What's up guys, welcome back to DCA. So I've been gone for a while yet again, but it's all been for a good cause as usual. Like I said before, I'm not leaving the crypto space. I'm not sort of working my way out of it. I haven't lost interest. In fact, I'm probably spending about 20 times more per day working on the crypto space than I've been in the past. And that's all dedicated to this website we're working on. So this is polaritydigital.io. And I'm working on this with the guys over at Upside Down Data. If you guys haven't seen them yet, I'd go and check them out. They do a lot of data analysis, just like we do on this channel. And in my opinion, they're one of the most underrated channels in this entire space. What we've been working on, a few things. And I'm going to quickly talk about these, and then we're going to get into the analysis today. So we've been working on primarily this workbench here. This is going to give the user the ability to come into our site use our unique data metrics, our data analysis metrics that we've created that are going to give you an edge on the market. So not only do we want to give you the tools that you need to get that market edge, but we want you to be able to perform your own analysis based on what you believe may be important in the market. And I think this will really uh, give people the ability to take even what we've done and send it to the next level. So already there's only a handful of people using the site at the moment. And, you know, a few of the users in the Discord channel, for instance, have made some discoveries with regards to these metrics that we simply wouldn't have found on our own because each individual's unique insights are going to give us as a group an edge on the market. So we're trying to provide the user the ability to come on and perform their own analysis in a simple and intuitive fashion. That's our primary goal here. And what we've been doing essentially is really trying to improve the user interface, trying to make it so that when the person comes on, you know, everything works exactly as expected. And I can tell you from my experience so far, this is my first uh, web development project that I've ever been a part of. It is an extraordinarily difficult task, especially when you're trying to work with something like this, where you're constantly changing things, you're updating the chart, you know, every two seconds, you're adding things, you're removing things, you're hiding things, you're switching the view that you're looking at. This kind of thing is extremely difficult. So that's kind of why I've been more or less not making videos recently because I'm spending an inordinate amount of time making sure that this is up to the quality that you expect. So let me just quickly talk about where we're at right now. So as many of you know, when you come onto the site, we have a very intuitive price tracking service. So this is gonna be just like something that, you know, you would see if you came to CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. We have all of the top cryptocurrencies. Currently we have 250. We'll probably expand that out to 1,000 or even more in the coming weeks. Um, but we are we haven't been working on this part of the site so much because it's more or less in place. But in, more importantly, on this part of the site, what we have is the tab called Market Analytics. So if you come over here to Market Analytics, so All Coins is going to give you the price tracking service. Market Analytics is going to actually give you access to all of our risk metrics. So we have the upside down potential indicators, the momentum bias indicator, we have the trend confidence indicator, and importantly, the MDC. So this is the one that a lot of people have become interested in. And I'm gonna talk about this today. The MDC, the market direction classifier. So the market direction classifier is a metric which tells you whether you're in an uptrend or a downtrend, and it does that by generating what's called a critical price level. Now, what does that mean? So right now, the critical price level is $24,000 for Bitcoin. And you'll notice that it's green. That means that we are above that at the moment. So let's hop over to the chart and I'm gonna show you how this is, how it works, and how you could potentially implement this into your own strategy. So the workbench is gonna bring you to this page. It's very intuitive, like I said, and you'll see that on the site, one of the things that we've expanded to include, and I'll just mention this quickly before we get into the MDC, are economic metrics and the market indexes. So if you come to the economic metrics, you'll see that we have a large range of metrics now. So, you know, we have uh, national debt metrics, we have flow of funds, we have things like the interest rates. So, you know, let's suppose you wanted to look at the five-year bond yield, all right? And, you know, Perhaps in addition to that, you wanted to know what the CPI, the year-over-year -year rate of change of the CPI was, okay? 
So now we have Bitcoin over here, just like we would expect, right? Because Bitcoin goes from 2010 to current day. And then we have the US five-year bond yield and the year-over-year -year CPI change. And so this just gives you a very good idea of what's going on, not only at the moment, but also historically. And one thing I quickly wanted to mention, because I didn't have this last time I talked about the site, I've integrated a mouse scroll feature. Now, a lot of sites that offer something similar to what we're using here don't offer the mouse scroll feature. So, you know, you can scroll in and out with your zoom wheel, just like you could on TradingView. And I think that's a pretty nice feature. So you can see that, you know, the ebbs and flows, for instance, of the five-year bond yield, we can see how that may or may not correlate to the price action of Bitcoin. That's all you have to do. You come in, you add, and you would use it just like you would TradingView. And by the way, you can search for these things too. There's gonna to be a lot of economic metrics. So if there's something in particular you wanted to find, like the M2 money supply, you just type in M2 and there you go. Now you have your M2 money supply dating all the way back here to the 50s, right? And then you can come in, you can do whatever type of analysis you want. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. I'm going to, in particular, be interested in the MDC today. So I'm going to add a metric. All I'm going to do is add an asset, Bitcoin, and then you can select from the range of metrics that we currently offer for Bitcoin. I will say that we're going to be adding a lot of new things, but we wanted to start by making sure that all of the functionality is in place. So that's what we've been aiming for right now. So we're going to add the MDC. We have this Y1 and Y2. That just quickly gives you an idea of where each metric is being contained on the y-axis. So we have these two y-axes now, and you'll notice that we have one over here on the left, and we have one over here on the right. I have the Bitcoin price on y-axis one, and you'll notice that these are color-coded. That means that it matches the color of the metric. So this is white, it's going to match the Bitcoin price. So you can quickly see which metric goes with which scale. Now, what we want to do in this case, though, is we're going to bring the MDC over here to Y1. All right. So now these are on the same scale with one another. All right. So that means they're sharing both Y1. And how can you tell that? Well, all you have to do is quickly look here. Now you could click on each one and go through and try and determine what axis you put each thing on that way. And if you, you know, if you just have two or three things, that's not going to be a big deal. But if you start getting into a place where you know, you've added 10 different metrics or 20 metrics, you could easily lose track of where everything is. So we added this feature that will show you exactly what scale you've put each different metric on, okay? And so that's also going to be a unique feature that uh, other sites like this aren't integrating. So we can see that when the price of Bitcoin is above this green bar or this green line, the MDC, the price of Bitcoin is in a defined uptrend. And what we can see over time is that holds up very well. But let's look at this in a better way. So one of the easy ways you can do this, and remember, this is called metric one, M1, and this is metric two, M2. So we can add a formula. And all I'm going to do is come here and I'm going to put if. And this is a simple format for these formulas. And you know, we don't even have the live site loaded yet and i'm not concerned with at the moment making sure that every single person out there can use the site what i'm concerned with is making sure everything works so that's what i've been focusing on right now so there's no detailed explanations for how to use these but guys quite frankly they're they're very self-explanatory they're simple uh mathematical expressions and they're just abbreviated so diff is difference log is going to be your log scale exponent is an exponent, power, uh, absolute, absolute value, range, range. Some of these may not be exactly self-explanatory, but once we launch the live site, you know, the, the real version of the site, when we're out of the beta stage, there's going to be a complete explanation on exactly how to use these and what each of these does. There will be a quick and easy to understand explanation of each metric. So the if formula is just like you would expect an if formula to be. So it's saying, if this is true, then do this. And if it's not true, do the other thing. And so that works like this. If M1 is greater than M2, 
then do what? Do M1. Show us M1 if that's true. Otherwise, show us zero. Conversely, if we put something like this, let's suppose we did this. This would just say if M1 is less than M2, show us M1. Or we could put anything we want here. We could put show us a thousand. Or we could put show us, you know, negative 100. We can do whatever we want here. It looks at this statement here first. If this thing, what I've highlighted here, is true, then it does this. And if it's not true, then it does the other thing. So in this case, what we want to know is if M1 is greater than M2, then just show us M1. And remember what M1 is, that's Bitcoin. And if it's not, show us zero. And that's all you have to do. It's that simple. Okay. And you hit evaluate and draw, and then it gives you that output here. So that's how you have the ability to perform data analysis very simply and you have this wide range of tools and you know these are just the starting tools that we have we're going to be adding much more to this as we go on in time now i have it like this right and you may be saying well what is this this is useless so what we can do is remember these two things are on y1 so let's bring this over to y1 and boom just like that now you can see every single point where Bitcoin's price is greater than the MDC, all right? So that's exactly what we see here. And notice quickly one thing. So I'm actually gonna change the price or the color of Bitcoin here just to make this very clear for you guys. So now we don't even need the MDC crit because I hit it. Because now what we see is when the price of Bitcoin is above the MDC, it's red. In fact, let's not make it red, let's make it a, uh, Let's make it green because you know it's the opposite of red, right? And we'll in fact make this one red. Because when Bitcoin is above the MDC, that is a huge sign for an uptrend. And what's amazing about this metric is it gives you the opportunity to not only go long when we're experiencing these uptrends, but also to turn around and go short when we're having the downtrends in the market. Like, look at what it told you to do right here at 57K, nearly 58K. It told you to get out of the market back here. Uh, let's see, right here. It, it was telling you to get out of the market back in November of 2021. How many people were telling you to get out of the market back in November of 2021? Probably not many that you know of. But nonetheless, it told you to get out. And what you could have done then at that point is went short on Bitcoin. So if you wish to, now I understand not everyone has the A ability to go short, nor the interest in doing it. But if you were interested in that, you could have went short with the MDC, right? And notice before that, it told you to get out of the market right here at 60K. And then it got you back in for very short, some short amount of time back here, right? But each time you were essentially making only a small profit. It said, get out here at 60K. And then it told you to get back in at 57K and then told you to get out uh, just a day later at 58K. And that's because the metric thought that perhaps there is an uptrend, but as soon as it saw that you know the uptrend isn't coming to fruition, it quickly turned around and told us, get out of the market because it's actually looking bearish. So it told us to get out at 60K and then again, right here at 58K. And when did it, you know, imagine if you shorted this. So you short, let's say you short at 58K and you get back in at around 35K. That's when it told you to get back in. Back in July, right at the start of this next rally. Okay. So right here, we had this rally from 35K and then it tells you to get out down here at around 60K to where we're at right now. So as we come over here, Right before, actually, right as we were releasing this metric, you know, or releasing the website, we were somewhere over here at around 17.8, around 18K. And almost within a day or two, you know, it was an auspicious beginning, let's say, for our website. The, uh, the MDC flipped bullish. So it flipped bullish right here at around 18, you know, 18.8 or so. And then we rode that all the way up till here at around 21.7. And it told us to get out for a short amount of time. So this was a little fake out. And like I said, these fake outs do happen from time to time. And that happened right there. But notice what happened. Right when the price then sort of flipped back positive, well, it told us to get back in. So, you know, even if you did get 
uh, shoved out of the market during that time, you've more or less been in the market ever since 18.8K. And the MDC told you to get in at that time. And notice that all through the bear market, you know, in each instance, it's basically had us going short other than this time where it had us in a profitable state by getting us in at around 21 and then getting us out again at around 23.3 or so. So it's been a incredible metric for identifying uptrends and downtrends. And, you know, I understand a lot of people like technical analysis. Well, I think this is going to, you know, blow the socks off off of almost any technical analysis metric that you can come up with. I challenge someone to find one that over a length of time is consistently beating the MDC. Where we're at now, you'll notice that the metric got us in at right here at around 21.9 or so, around 22,000 realistically. And, you know, we've taken it all the way up to where we're at here at 28.2. So let's bring this back again. So now you're, you might be saying, well, you know, that's fine that it has us there right now, but how do I know I'm going to be profitable? Well, let's look at where it's at at the moment, where the MDC metric is at. And this is a live real-time metric. So you can see that the MDC is currently sitting at around 24.1K. And what that means is even if the price of Bitcoin right now were to tank, were to tank down to 24K, the MDC would get you out. And what you would do in that case is you would net the profit that from your entry point, right? And we'll just use this horizontal line. You would net the profit from your entry point from there all the way up to if today the price crashed 4K, which I don't think it's going to do, you would net this profit. And, you know, we can, this is a, a very, very beta stage here. This, you know, our, our line drawing tools. So, we're working on getting it implemented over here, but for the time being, we're using this uh, sort of suboptimal solution, we'll say. And, you know, it's uh, we're going to be integrating something where you don't have to, <laughs> currently you have to come in and, and uh, you know, if you want to change the color on, you have to type it in, but I'm still trying to find the right color to use. So this is not the permanent solution. This is just something for people who are testing the site, a tool that they can use in order to perform some technical analysis on the site. And mind you, if you're interested in testing the site, anyone's free to do that. You could come over to the Discord or you could check it out on, we actually have most of the changes on a site called test.polaritydigital.io. There is the main site as well, but we typically load whatever a known stable version is and we do all the changes on the test version, but I haven't updated the real site in probably a month now. So it has a lot of stuff from the past that we're not using anymore. All of the new stuff is up on test.polaritydigital.io. So I'll put a link to that in the description below if you wanna come and check out the site. And please, like I said, it's in the beta stage still. So there's, you know, quite frankly, there are a lot of bugs that we're still trying to work out. And like I said, it's a very complicated project. So if you identify any bugs or find anything that you think that we should do or that we could do better, please let me know because I would love to add those to the site or fix any issues that you happen to find. So back to what we're saying though, the MDC is a metric, which, you know, I quite frankly, it just absolutely destroys this Bitcoin market. So, with that said, guys, the MDC is a metric which, you know, I, I think it's hilarious. I I posted the MDC and I, you know, I showed the results. And just as a test, I released some like ridiculous, unimportant technical indicator that, you know, had some loose association with the price on Twitter and it got hugely upvoted. And then I posted the MDC and showed its results and it got maybe like four or five upvotes. <laughs> you know, I can lead you to the water. I can't make you drink it at the end of the day is the best way to put it. So here are the results. You can see them for yourselves. You would absolutely be crushing the market if you were, you know, utilizing a metric like this in your daily trading. But as usual, you know, it's something new and people are hesitant to try anything new. So that's fine more for us then. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Until next time, as usual, see you.